All right, welcome to another Hearts of Iron 4 video on my channel. Today we're back on Kaisom Kaiser Redux, my favorite mod of all time, or I guess mod pack in that regard. Uh, and today I wanted to hop on some Kaiser Redux because I saw there were some interesting changes. Mainly the Anarchist Belarus. <clears throat> now you know I'm a sucker for anything that is not just like the base Hoi 4 ideologies. So I will obviously try out this path, this path, and I always had my sight on some uh, Belarus. I always wanted to try this, or I guess White Rufinia is the appropriate name here. But I always wanted to try this nation for a while now, or just to see what it's like, and uh, see if we can succeed as an anarchist, um, not state, I guess a commune, would you call it? From the Last of Us in this episode, right? Somewhere like that. Uh, let's get let's get to it. All right. So just for some footnotes about our start right here, we start with no stability, or I guess no war support, no stability. Uh, we are a puppet of the German Reich, so we only have six factories right now. Only one of them as a military. But we are in the Reichspact, which we know will go through some rough times soon. We start with seven we start with seven divisions and a pretty big focus tree, a decently big focus tree. Not the worst star, by far not the worst star. I think the worst star still has to be Karelia, which I played before, but it was so hard that I could not do it. I couldn't do it. So I never edited it and posted it at all. I hope it doesn't end up like this. If you're seeing this, I obviously did, but you know, let's have our hopes up here. Okay, so as you can see, I managed to uh, make Z uh Kuos, where he is now our lead head. He's also the prime minister, so he's just a dictator. And we're about to fall into a civil war. <laughs> Which is just what we want, uh, you know, anarchy thrives in chaos, as we all know. Alright, so from our incompetence to hold our country together, and in the face of imminent war, we got cooed again by the Germans, and they put a very German-looking fella in charge of Belarus. So now, from what I read, I just have to wait two more weeks, and we will be able to do the path that I actually want to do. Great, cannot wait for that one. All right, here we go. Here's the counter coup, and we have a few decisions, which mostly are um, jerking off the Germans even more. Or we could take the decision of the Black Banner raises over Belarus, which I will promptly take. And now revolutionary territory of Belarus with a really cool flag. Okay, I like this. I like this. Okay, now we're in the game. We are in the game. We have no stability. Classic. Anarchism. We have no war support. Classic. Well, it would take us straight into a war with the Germans. <laughs> um, I have a weird feeling that I cannot win this. Just a slight feeling. I'll see what happens if I lose, and if it just like kicks me out, I'll try to reload the save, because this is not winnable whatsoever. Okay, I tried reloading the save, and it seems like the only thing that really happens is that you lose two of these states. Which is a great shame, but they don't annex us, which gives us a chance to actually rebuild and play the game? Question mark? I've tried it at least four to five times, and then every time it seems to just take these two states, Ukraine always just takes these two states, and leaves you alone. We, uh, we just get a truce with them and they leave you alone forever, I would assume. Good enough. Good enough, I guess. So our country is kind of a shithole right now. I would not want to live here. Uh, but we're slowly making our way up and trying to build some infrastructure and some factories so we can have a resemblance of an industry as well as trying to uh, advance our military. So I can actually recruit people because if I don't get war support soon enough, they will ease up conscription on me. It's not great. So apparently we were invited to some sporting event. I don't know who they send the invitation to. Maybe I don't have the appropriate knowledge to understand uh, the deep politics of an anarchist commune state, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But we have somehow won a lot of medals and we, 
we gain some stability through it. <laughs> okay, so here we have a very interesting focus actually, which I completed this tree. Not much interesting here, just kinda they ask you what you wanna do with schools. You can either demolish them or keep them and get bonuses, which is a no brainer. But now we get Anarchy above all, where we get a lot of claims from the looks of it. And we also get former nations of the Lord, today proletarian nation. Dawn of Anarchy in the Baltic, Union of Poor Peasants. This sounds very interesting, I, and I will definitely try it. This might lead to some wars, so I might as well save. Okay, never mind. It, from, from what I see, it seems like that this just declares war on these nations, which is not interesting. But if we own all of them, we can delegate all communes, which is interesting. Okay, that's getting somewhere. Too bad they're all in Reichspakt, and if I declare war right now with my measly four divisions, I will get fucked hard. Very hard. We need to at least wait till Reichspakt goes to war with further international, or there's no chance for this to ever work. Okay, so I find myself in a quite a bit of a hard predicament right now. Uh, I turned out pretty much, this is about as many divisions as I can have right now with the current manpower pool that, I'm, uh, that is available to me. We have some core states here, so if I declare war on them, I want to push out and take back my states, first of all. Uh, probably push for Vilnius, just to have it. And then I don't know what to do, really. If we look at the faction map, I am just surrounded, completely. And if Russia decides to go for me, it's GG. At the same time, Reichspakt is not doing too well. France is pushing, uh, and they lost all of Africa. They lost all of Africa besides uh, South Africa, I guess and Morocco. That's about it. They are not that strong as I thought they would be. I also made some monstrous planes. Some monsters. They're really expensive, but they are absolute monsters. Let me show you uh, if I can find them. There we go. 100 air attack. And they have around 130, if I can find them. Yeah, there we go. 132 attack. They are heavy as shit. They have no speed. They, they're, they're, they're terrible in every single regard besides the air attack. I'm gonna rely on them and just check what happens. I... I <laughs> it sh this around 400 planes should be enough to, to hold our grounds. I would hope, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to go in alone without joining the Entente because if I join the Entente, I'm stuck. No, uh, they're international. If I join the international, I'm just locked in. You cannot leave the faction in um, in Kaiser Redux. Uh, so I'm just gonna attempt to try this and see what happens. Gonna make a save because I don't wanna replay the whole game in case this doesn't work. All right, here we go. Let's see how we can handle this. All right, uh, we, I managed to push surprisingly easy through these territories and kill a few Ukrainian divisions, like 66k, and we lost like 10k. Uh, we're getting on manpower and we're getting back some factories, which will let me just get a whole lot more divisions to eventually like push and stuff. Uh, hopefully, uh, the plan, the perfect plan would probably be take out Ukraine first, 100%. All right, our new task force has arrived, as we can see. With this, I think we can push past Kiev and capitulate them, hopefully. Um, I'll add this to a new leader, uh, this guy. And we will be pushing hard. I will assign these divisions here and we will, we will push directly here to hopefully cut them off here and just trap all these divisions in here. Okay, that went a lot better than I anticipated. <laughs> We trapped so many of them, oh my goodness gracious. That is quite massive, I have to admit. With barely any air, if I get some air, imagine. We finally have access to the sea. It is the Black Sea, all things considered. Not the best sea to have access to, but we have access to the sea, finally. And our nation is looking chunky. Holy, that is looking big. Uh, we're encircling them everywhere. At this point, they have taken, let's see our casualties here. We have taken uh, 100,000, which 75k is to Ukraine, but they have taken 650,000. That's one to six ratio. For every Belarusian, Belor Belor Belorussian that dies on the front lines, six Ukrainians die. Holy, that is insane ratio. Okay, we're almost there. We are 93% towards capitulation. They are 95% towards capitulation. If I finish this off, they should be done for, I would hope. And there we go. There we go. This is France now, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means that, yep, 
uh, we only have to finish this off and then we can just move to our main front line and take out the rest of the states. Okay, so this is our current current position, I would say. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Uh, I will want to knock out Lithuania and Poland next, probably. And then United Baltic Duchy, probably. Problem is they, they brought all their divisions over here, so it's a bit hard to push right now. I might have to wait with some stuff, mainly because... I still, I, don't, I still don't know if I should join the international or not. I think it would be a smart move though. I think it's a smart move. I think we're just gonna do it. Okay, there we go. Now we are in the international, which is good. Oh yeah, they're looking great. Oh my god, these lines are thin. What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ. I hope they bring some units over here. Maybe. Jesus Christ. And my experimental planes are doing numbers actually. Holy, 130... Air attack is quite a bit, isn't it? Ah, oh, 2%. Come on. Maybe if we take this tile? There we go. Another one bites the dust, ladies and gentlemen. And another one bites the dust. Now we are chunky, boy. And we're, we will clean this up. Unfortunately, it's super cancer, but they can get over here, which is so annoying. And I have no doubt in my mind that these guys will be invading because they're all in Reichspact. And this is, yeah, this is gonna be cancer as as. as and I have no manpower as well. <laughs> we might have to go up in conscription to all adults serve. There's no other way to do it, really. Look at that, Daddy Russia is willing to provide us with some guns. I'm worried about this and I'm worried about this. I am very worried about my lack of manpower. Complete lack of manpower, that is. Uh, that I cannot replenish fast enough, even though I have all adults serve. But we'll figure this out. I didn't even pay attention to Africa, but <clears throat> coming of France completely decimated the French Republic. Although they are losing a bit at home. I have a problem, uh, I had to give away some of my land to uh, Britain and stuff. We have a problem. That is a manpower problem. I don't have enough manpower to man these lines and my soldiers, like my divisions have all the equipment they could want besides guns. We'll, we'll get those very soon, don't worry everyone. And anti-air, we'll get it soon, don't worry. Besides that, uh, I am not capable of pushing whatsoever. Uh, we're more than capable of defending, not pushing though, at all. And our allies are losing from what I'm seeing, which is very dissatisfying to see especially when you consider my progress in the east the fact that they are being pushed this far into their territory is concerning to you know to say the least i think this is as good as it gets macro wise i think this is as good as it gets because i am right now in a uh, uh, in about a half a million no like three hundred thousand people deficit i am in a deficit of three hundred thousand people the only real thing i can do is to give away more land i'll try to do that and see if that helps and somehow at least i'm pretty proud of my air force 40 planes a day almost sometimes is insane heavy fighters are op or what and i'm a i'm a minor i'm a minor nation and i am killing 40 planes every single day i think i know why we're losing if we just take one look at africa and then at brazil my allies are currently busy invading Brazil instead of invading the nation on their border. Look at this! They don't even have that much here! There's open... Like, what? But then you're overstacking in fucking Sierra Leone. How is that possible? Okay, I finally managed to somewhat fix our manpower problem by realizing that I can integrate these regions if I have like 40% compliance, which is nothing. So I made these uh, very chunky horse divisions, ICBA, Researching Military Police, fuck that. I forgot about it. I did not forget about it at all. Uh, but regardless, I managed to get some of this territory, and we now have some manpower, and we might be able to push, which I'm gonna attempt to do. I don't think I've shown this, but I myself have destroyed 21,000 airplanes. In comparison, France has destroyed 9,000. And Germany has destroyed uh, 28. So it really puts it into perspective that a miner with 500 planes mining. On, I have around only 500 at a time because my fuel cannot su support it. And I have this much. is insane. It really was that easy. It really was that easy. Just encircle all of their divisions when you push. 
and get some manpower. And all of a sudden, wow, I can, I can all of a sudden just do it. It was that fucking simple. Wow, if only my allies were fucking fighting in their own fucking country. Oh my god, man. I'm gonna reach Berlin in, at this pace. And nothing is stopping me because I've produced 100,000 guns at this point. Because I was just sitting AFK for around two hours. It's 1944 in Kaiser Redux. You know what that translates to? That translates to about fucking 10 hours in real life. And just like that, Berlin falls to Belarus. Fucking Belarus, man. Jesus Christ. I take back what I said about the, the mod developers not adding cores. I don't know if I added that clip or not. I was uh, screeching and molding about there being no cores. Well, there clearly are. You can core all of this, which is... Uh, it's quite a lot. I'm also coring Vilnius right now. You can core a lot of a decent bit of territory, enough to make it so while scraping the barrel you have decent amount of manpower as Belarus. Now that Germany eventually falls to the might of Belarus, they barely have anything, which doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't. When they, I've seen the amount of divisions they lost in Africa, it really doesn't surprise me at all. This war could have been done two years ago if my allies were a bit more competent, though. The fact that this is only two, like, this is the division, and I just have like 50 of these guys, which is not that, it's mostly because of the buffs, like, look at this, look at the amount of buffs I got from this. My divisions, I, I did not struggle to hold at all, at all. These divisions are very much so overpowered, which I don't have anything against, this is a meme path, this isn't like... An esports game. Okay, uh, we have most points here, so I think we can just uh, take what's rightfully ours here. Okay, we managed to get everything. Actually, all of it. The fall of Germany. Beautiful, isn't it? It is quite beautiful, is it? I, oh, also, I almost forgot. There it is. We have Congress of the Delegates of All Communes, which needs makes me own Vilnius, Warsaw, and Kiev. Let's see what happens if I click it. Congress of Delegate of All Communes. After we have all from the institutions of oppressions in the Dnieper, Notra, Vistula River, Time, blah, blah, uh, we can create either the Slavic Union, the Union of People's Communes. Uh, I think I'm gonna try with the People's Communes. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now we are the Union of People's Communes with a skull on our flag. And we just cored everything. <laughs> wow, wait, it doesn't show yet, but... I think we cored everything. Oh my god, we cored Germany. Oh my goodness gracious. I went from 60 to 500 factories? Jesus Christ. Well, okay, um, this is where we ended off. I could attack Russia because I do have the sufficient uh, resources and stuff like that to kill them easily. It wouldn't even be close. With 16,000 manpower and 500 factors, it wouldn't be in a close. Regardless, I hope you everyone, every one of you enjoyed this uh, <laughs> Anarchist Belarus playthrough, where we united all the people of Europe into Anarch with, with quote-unquote help of the French. I hope everyone enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.